And we are live here on the hill at Franklin Road Academy. The matchup tonight, the FRA Panthers at 3-0, taking on the Good Pasture Cougars at 0-3. My name's Nate Linseth. Here with, to my left is Miner Ballou. How are you doing tonight, Miner? Great, Nate. How are you doing? Doing well. It's a rainy, humid night here on the hill. Temperatures around 81 degrees. It'll be rainy, spotty showers throughout the night. And Miner, we have an interesting matchup tonight on the hill. Yeah, for sure. Good Pasture Christian coming in for a huge region district game um, coming in the season 0-3 Panthers at 3-0 rainy night so we'll see how the pass game will be affected tonight by this weather yeah absolutely last year FRA took on good pasture on the road and that was led by 258 rushing yards on 32 carries and that was an impressive night you played in that game how was that uh, at good pasture yeah you know FRA came out had a great first outing um, didn't play with Ty or Bobby the two main players and still were able to get it done on the ground game Michael Hassel as we've seen how good he's been this season was a huge impact in that game last year. And the defense only let up seven points the whole game, including a pick six by Taylor Hasselbeck last year. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned that. Uh, Michael Hassel had two touchdowns in that game last season. It'll be interesting to see. He's been the star of the show so far on the hill and on the road. It'll be interesting to see how much he can build upon this quick, fast, electric start to the season. Yeah, for sure. You know, he's been having a great season so far. Cam Glenn also been backing him up a little bit in that run game. He's been really impressive, as we said, last game having four touchdowns. Absolutely. What are you, look, what are you looking at tonight? Yeah, I assume FRA still wants to establish that ground game with Michael Hassel, Cam Glenn, and Quidier Fletcher. How can you build upon these strong last two weeks? Yeah, you know, for sure. The run game has been great so far, and a rainy night like this is a perfect time to run the ball. But these running backs, they just got to make sure they hold on the ball. A lot of guys can be punching for that ball. Um, inside of all the mess, and they just got to hold on and get down when they can. FRA will be debuting their the road jerseys, their the all grays. How does that? What does that mean for Coach Guys and his team? Yeah, you know the the um, gray jerseys are really nice. New jersey, new look for the Panthers, and I think I really like it. David Petty, as we can see right now, is out there. Thank you so much for the coaches who have put in countless hours and so much time into this program. I just pray that you bless them and that their efforts don't go unnoticed. God, I thank you for a school with opportunities like these. Help us get closer to each other as we get closer to and become more like you. In your name I pray. Amen. Please remain standing as we honor America with the singing of our national anthem, sung by FRA eighth grader Ava Otto, under the direction of FRA core choir director Miss Ashley Willits.
We're back after the national anthem. What a performance there. Apparently an eighth grader. That's, that's a special performance there. Yeah, really it? good performance. I think she should do it for the rest of the season. That was amazing. So we're live on the hill. Franklin Road Academy and Good Pasture meet here on the hill on a rainy, humid night. Uh, showers will be spotty throughout the evening. Coach Geis and the captains just enter the field. Number 58, Parker Finnegan. Three, Jaden Rush. 53, Ian Zachariah. Number two, Charlie Speed. Minor kind of take, not a glimpse, but a look at how these guys really impact the team. Yeah, you know, Parker Finnegan and Charlie Speed, both part of the 12-year club here at FRA, um, as well as Ian. Only came here in 10th grade. First year playing football, and he's already a captain in his third year ever playing football. And these three guys have a huge impact on this team, as well as Jaden Rush, Ladies who's only a junior. So congrats to Jaden on getting named game. captain. And they all, Reverie, their job Mike, is to lead the Lim team and to make sure that Lim Lim uh, only the best can Umpire, happen. Brent and Boone. the guys are doing great so far with it. Linesman Adam Kelly. Line FRA sets to take the Back field judge, here Jason as they Carey. run out behind judge, Brad their Taylor. seniors. And Side it'll be an interesting Damian scene here Cox. showing how good Patrick can rebound. I know a rough time last season, like we mentioned earlier, against the, this same Panther team. How can they improve on last season's loss? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, this year they can. They're uh, got a lot better of a team. Uh, yeah, student section. Shout out to the student section coming to show up to the game. Rainy game doesn't matter for them, but just remaining calm during the game. You know, bad things happen all the time, and as long as they stay calm and collected, they'll be good. We'll see here, captains. We'll meet here at midfield. Good showing here by the Panther student section. It's Jersey Night on the Hill. It'll be interesting to see what Coach Guys wants to do here first. I mean, you think you gotta, you think you gotta kick it. Uh, really defer to the second half, kick it off the good pasture because your defense has been playing so well these last several weeks. Yeah, for sure. Last season, if like every single kickoff um, or every single time the coin flip happened, the ball was kicked off. Defense, playing defense, you know. It's kind of a buzz cut right now and then having to go first, but it was good to go first. So Panthers most likely going to kick it off. Noah Harris might be kicking as well yep. as Jesse. Don't know for sure yet. It's undecided. Uh, they said that it was decided after warm up, so we'll see who will be the kicker there. Kind of interesting, kind of slow start. Teams are – good passers kind of slow to enter the field here. It's currently 6.56, technically four minutes till kickoff here on the hill. And and we talk about this FRA defense, Michael Hassel, Jaden Rush, Omari Sanders, and Gavin Gadsey. How much does that leadership and kind of the backbone of this team can propel FRA down the stretch this season? Yeah, you know, them staying healthy and them just playing the ball that they're playing so far is going to be huge. No interceptions for the three DBs yet, but you got to think one of them's coming tonight. You know, slippery football could get out of the quarterback's hands easily. Gavin Gatsy, that senior inside linebacker, one of the biggest positions in football. And him being strong there and making the tackle is huge every single time. If you're a good pasture, do you think you got to kind of stick to the run game tonight? Yeah, for sure. You know, stick with what's working for you. Uh, good pasture, especially as we can't reiterate enough, a slippery football. So it should be looking as Panthers come out to run the football. F4 enters the field in there. Gray jersey student section swarm down to the uh, to the student section. It should be a great night here on the hill here at Franklin Academy on a rainy, rainy Friday evening. Yeah, student section just showed up out of nowhere. Mass and Blue, Johnny Isaacs, and Max Boylan were the ones who were the flag bearers this time as we see Gavin Gatsy come out on the field. Pointing at someone. I don't Captains know will meet here out. at midfield. Captains for the Cougars. Number 56, Ian Crockett. And number five, Shion, Shinon Dawkins. We'll see what the uh, what FRA wants to do here or what Good Pass wants to do with the football first. Yeah, you know, as we can see right now, Jersey theme for the student section. A few Good Pasture people have showed up. Looks like they're more of a Western style theme. I think that's the theme in around two weeks for these FRA Panthers. But uh, coin flip's about to happen. We'll see what's going to happen. Most likely, if I had to guess, the Panthers will be kicking off. And as we said, it's unknown yet he'll be kicking off. Absolutely. Round two minutes till kickoff here on the hill. Good Pasture just entered the field. And we'll see football here in around five minutes. Yeah, his game tonight for the um, off the line of FRA. Been so good so far, and they just got to keep up this, this steam going, you know. Averaging over 200 yards easily per game so far for the FRA Panthers. So just to keep up that momentum is huge. 
FRA wins the toss, the first and second half. Yeah, Noah Harris will be kicking off for kickoff. He said he didn't know if he was going to kick, and I guess he did good in warm-ups. Yeah, they said, yeah, Noah told me earlier today um, they were looking uh, to warm-ups to find out who was going to get the start tonight. It'll be interesting who kicks PAT tonight. FRA, like I said, won the toss, elected to defer to the second half. And Miner, what does that tell you? You know, Coach Geist last year, it was an offensive, it's the same running game, but they really lean on that offense. Now this year, it feels like the defense has grown up a little bit, and now he's leaning back on that defense. Yeah, for sure, you know, Coach Sanders, um, Ed Sanders, the head coach of this defense. Uh, and Coach Gosh really trusts him, you know, last game, zero point, or seven points were scored in the first half. Game before that, seven points the whole game. Game before that, zero points scored in the first half. So, you know, Coach Guys trusts his defense, and he trusts that they can get it done. <laughs> Good factor. <laughs> Runs out of their tunnel. Uh, paper didn't break right there. Guess paper was... What, maybe? I have no clue. Yeah, I think it was supposed to break, and uh, it did not break, <laughs> to say the least. As you see, Cam Glenn and Barron Zinner, 14 and 15, warmed up. Barron Zinner, a huge player on special teams last season. Led the team in tackles on special teams, if I believe, so we'll see if he can get down early and disrupt this good pasture um, return team. Uh, wishing our student producer, Quinn, to get well seen. He's currently out with a sickness. So our guy here, Mr. Ratner, remaining the uh, range for producing tonight. Shout out to him. FRA set the kick off here. Looking to improve to 4 0 on the season, but has to get past this good pasture offense. No Harris ready to kick off on the inside. Baron Zinner behind him is Elliot Barr behind him. Donovan behind him out of Crocker and Omari Sanders. On your other side, it looks like Gavin Gatsy and the other three DBs other than Omari. Saving for good pasture is number 14, Slim Lavelle. Set to kick is Noah Harris. Week four of the 2024 high school football season is about to be underway. Noah Harris tees it up. And we're on here on the hill. Deep kick by Harris at the seven. Lavelle takes it out of his own inside the 10 there, flag. We'll check yeah, the an awkward looking tackle right there. Yeah. Cordier Fletcher made the tackle. Number 14 just got rolled up there. A flag as well. Looking probably to be a holding. You don't think that's what good pasture runner right there? Got a pretty decent return, but they'll be backed up 10 yards. Man, the gray jerseys do look very nice right now on the field. <laughs> they, look, they look fantastic. No, Harris trying off the field. Almost had a touchback. We'll see if he can get it back. Another, that's another thing. It's a slippery Wet field. Wet football, too. Yeah. Wet football and running up there to kick the ball. It's not as easy as it sounds. Could lose your footing any time or in any place. Chase Angel, quarterback for good pasture, and his offense takes the field. He's a sophomore. This good pasture offense, pretty young. How does that really benefit the FRA defense, you know, with a really young offense? Yeah, you know, a lot of miscues could happen. You can see a lot of flags tonight, especially with the wet football, as we said again, a lot of fumbles, maybe a few interceptions, so that helps FRA out a lot. First down and 10 at the 9. Hand off to his tailback, and a good gain there. But it's number 5, Dawkins with the carry. First around the first down, but I believe it'll be an 8-yard gain, second down and 2. Yeah, great block right there by Good Pasture. Just got their number on. Looked like Jaden Rush and in inside linebacker Gavin Gass. He looked like it could have been a holding call, but no call there by the referees, and we play on. These F4 linebackers going to have to be really disciplined tonight with when uh, – Good pass early, moving outside the numbers here on their tosses and pitches. Second down and two here for the Cougars. Another Another double fullback set, it looks like, for these Cougars. Two receivers set here to Angel's right. Hands off to Dawkins. Dawkins be chopped down for around a one or two yard gain. We'll check the spot here. Yeah, great. It'll be third down and short right there. Elliot Barra, Quadir Fletcher, uh, we're in on that tackle. Elliot Barra, first one there. Quadir Fletcher there to clean up the trash. Third down and one. Early third down. This is big for the Panthers. Try to get some momentum, get the ball, good field position, uh, to set Troy Speed for a good return. You think uh, you got to stick with the ground, the ground game here, don't you? For sure. You know, third down and one. As much as you don't want to, um, you got to go with this ground game. See if they can push it out. Angel hands off to Dawkins. Dawkins. Be around the first down, but I believe they're going to mark him a half yard shorter. Short, it'll be fourth down. Kevin, I wouldn't worry about 
Looks like they're going to go for it as well. They're not even looking to punt the ball. I think Goodpass just trying to send a message right here, say that they can get the ball. El Yabara came yeah. off the field with his helmet off. Yeah, El Yabara had to get off, punt. get off the field here because of his helmet, but Goodpass will punt it away. Charlie Speed, we set deep to return. Set the kick for the Cougars, number 33, Connor Bell. Yeah, Charlie Speed lined up at the 50-yard line, had a touchdown return at this exact same kind of kick last year opening week against Kenwood. See if he can run back another one. Good punt there. Wow. Speed will run back and grab it. Speed at the 40. Has to bounce it out to the outside. Charlie Speed cuts back. Still going, and he'll be knocked out of bounds. We're on the 35-yard line. There's a flag down on the far side of the field. Gavin Gatsy holding on to his left arm over there. Not a sight you want to see for these Panthers. Still looking. Jaden Rush is tracked down in the backfield. Yeah, it looks like he had Gavin Ken open. Jaden Rush played quarterback freshman and sophomore season. He can for sure throw that ball. Just looked like he wasn't too comfortable with the pass. Can't complain too much right there. Coach Guy's trying to throw some trickery into the play. Second down and 19. Gavin Ken looks like he felt he was open as well. Second down and 19, like I just said, you know, we've talked multiple times, you know, I just mentioned about these fast starts, but as this season kind of, not winds down, say, but gets, I mean, we talk about the schedule, gets gets more difficult as Malleron hands off to Cam Glenn, Cam Glenn bursts through the hole again, Cam Glenn looking for his fourth touchdown of the game, we tackle it down at the 30, but yeah, as the season gets tougher, how well can, how much can F4A keep relying on this ground game? Yeah, um, FRA right now have been really, really relying on this ground game. So, game another play. toss getting that first down. Gets the toss again. We'll get a first down like Miner just said. And, you know, what a showing so far by Cam Glenn. He played quarterback last year. I was good friends with him, and it really wasn't working out. Let's, it, it, the quarterback position for him really wasn't yeah, working sure. out. And he, coach guys in this offense found a role for him. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, FRA and Cam Glenn. Didn't really know um, what their play, what his role was going to be, and filled in a running back this year, last year after making that switch. It's been great so far. It's been compared to Ty Clark. Mallerwein hands off to Quidir Fletcher. Quidir Fletcher into the secondary. He's still going, and Quidir Fletcher is gone. Touchdown, Panthers. Yeah, Cam Glenn not getting the touchdown there, but congratulations to Quidir Fletcher. Really excited to get that touchdown for him. Starting running back, starting running back, and uh, backup linebacker. Fifth rushing before nothing lead with the extra point to come. No hair set to kick as well. Looking to go five, four, five tonight. Left a loss week one of CPA. I was at that game. Uh, week two played BHS and beat them. Um, they've been having a star quarterback George McIntyre as well as Tennessee commit too. To go here in the first half. Handoff. That's his tailback. Dawkins, Dawkins will slice his way for a first down. Yeah, 11-yard uh, gain right there. Able to just follow his blocker the whole play. Looks like a linebacker will coming up and make that tackle. f will have the ball coming out of the halftime break. And here goes this clock as it winds down. Yeah, 34, 33 seconds left in this first half. As we mentioned, will be a running clock. Uh, see if good pass can gain a few more yards. Nice little gain right there. Angel hands off to Dawkins. Dawkins bounces out. Good tackle there. And as the first half kind of winds down, I assume that'll be the last play of the half. Your score, FRA 35. Good pass through zero minor. What stuck out in that first half? Yeah, the run game. You just got to mention the run game before anything for these FRA Panthers. Cam Glenn, two touchdowns, well over 200 yards rushing. Quidir Fletcher and Michael Hassel as well, adding on to that run game. We'll be right back. Broadcast will be kind of shutting down a little bit, but it'll pop right back up after this halftime break. Again, your score, Panthers 35, good pasture, zero. Back live here on the hill for the start of the second half. I'm Nate Linseth here with Minor Blue. And it was a electric first half for this FRA offense and defense all around. Great performance so far. You know, Coach uh, Sanders and his defense has to be looking at that zero on the board and 
be extremely happy with that performance so far. Yeah, for sure. As of right now on Monday, this Panther team will be getting donuts in their Monday meeting for film. Yeah, 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 uh, right. See if they keep that up. You know, they really want those donuts on Monday. You know, first day of the week, most would like to say you've seen those donuts when you walk in. You know, just it, it brightens the mood going into that Monday practice. Cam Glenn uh, out there as well. Two touchdowns. I've been the story so far as well as he was last week, having two touchdowns, 200 yards. Back to our ref for a is number 20, Michael Hassel, and number three, Jaden Rush. That'll be their first time back there tonight. Yeah, uh, good pass. And like a zigzag formation. Never seen that before on a kickoff. Good kick there. Jaden Rush will gather at the goal line. Jaden Rush trying to make some noise here. Jaden Rush. Number 32. I think Jaden thought football, if the ball goes in the end zone, you're not allowed to return it. Looked like his foot might have gone in the end zone. He looked like he uh, didn't know if he was allowed to return that. Still able to gain around 32 yards right really there on that return. I think I that's the rule. I think if it goes in the end zone, you're not allowed to return the ball. I've never. May, I mean, I, but now, I might be now, that, but now that I say it, though, I've never seen that. I mean, yeah. Maybe just coaches don't like their guy returning from the end zone. I don't know. But I mean, I, you're I right. Remember, I've never seen that before. I remember last year Bobby Council did a toe tap to catch the ball um, on the yard line. And I wonder why he did that. And then, if I'm correct, Coach Strass says, because you can't return the ball if you're in the end zone. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's, that, that's, a rule, that's a rule that Coach Strass would know, though, too. I believe you. Long sleeves. Am I correct, or did he not have long sleeves on before this? No, I, I don't think he did. I think you're right. A little human night for that. Maybe he felt like he was a little cold. Put that shirt on. Um, first pass out of halftime. Not really in rhythm. Just a little bit behind Quitter so Fletcher right if, there. If your coach guys here, this ground game has been incredible so far. But the pass game, they, they haven't really had to pass the football so far. How important is it uh, for Mallerwine really here to really get on time with his receivers? Yeah, no, you bring up last game was huge in the FRI Panthers offense. Logan Kennard now at Maryville College, quarterback last year. Well, might see Jesse, freshman, start the first two games to kick. No, Harris. Your score, Panthers 41. Good pass or nothing. We'll be right back after this break. Back here live on the hill at Franklin Road Academy. Noah Harris set to kick off after that PAT. Was yeah, new the special teams here. right now for FRA. It looks like it's going to be the JV special team. See if they can get down there and make a tackle. Good kickoff by Harris. Like he redeemed himself as it's caught right at the goal line. Stops the football there. Confused. He'll bring it out of the goal line. He's tackled by Adam Crocker and company at around Parker Edwards there as the well. 17 or 18. Looks like it's still going to be the varsity defense for FRA. This could be their last position out there. Uh, this is right now time you just want to get your defense all in sorts. Next week going up against Northwest, getting ready for that game. Just fixing anything um, at halftime and see how the adjustments worked out on this first opening drive for Good Pasture. <coughs> Obviously running clock for this second half. 35-point lead plus will be your, I believe it's a running clock, correct? It is a running clock. 30, 41 0 causes for a running clock. See FRA come back, or excuse me, good pasture come back out on the field. 8.58 left to go here in the third quarter. Down Angel. Kingston is showing blitz. Elliot Barr will creep up as well, see if they'll come off the edge right now, looking like they will. Down Angel is going after Drops him. back the pass, fires across the middle, incomplete. Good coverage there by Rush. Second down and 10 coming up. Jaden Rush right there with the deflection. Great defense right there by Jaden. I don't think a single pass has been completed tonight so far on these FRA Panthers defense. Pass was intended for, well, pass was intended for Cameron White. 
Second down and 10. Um, first play, I think that good pass doesn't gain yards on first down in a minute. We'll see. Parker Edwards looks like he's getting ready to check into the game, talking to Coach Geis and Coach Straz over there, there on the sideline. See if he can get some playing time. Senior number eight. Uh, cousin of Charlie Speed as well. Good pasture in the pistol. Can't chase Angel. Looking to make a good throw here, Angel. Ian Zachariah. Under pressure, and he's sacked by Ian Zachariah. What a play there by the senior. Yeah, uh, off to lineman, one-on-one -on -one with Ian. And uh, I think Ian Zachariah will win that battle 10 out of 10 times. Ian, around 240, really big guy, off to lineman. Never stood a chance there for good pasture. Ian Zachariah, I think that's his first sack of the season. Uh, yeah, he's been drafting. struck with injury so far this yeah, year. Yeah, he has. Last year, tore, uh, tore his left peck, played through the injury. Had surgery in the offseason. It's been somewhat of a problem. Student section still turning up over there. They love. I don't even know what. I don't even think they know what's going on in the game. They're just having fun. I must brought out my my Mike Keith right there. Good play there by Zachariah. Angel drops back to pass. Uncorks one deep over the middle. It's intercepted by Omari Sanders. The four-star safety gets inside the ten. Flag flies. We'll check the markers. First pick right there. Congratulations to Amari Sanders. Just got an offer from Georgia. Showing why with that pick right there. Wanted that pick six, but able to get a lot of yards. Two flags came out on the field, and we'll see what the call is in a sec. Like I said, four-star safety. What a talent. His dad, his dad uh, Coach Ed Sanders, head coach that defense. And, you know, he's got to be happy for us. His son right there getting, making a big play. First interception. First interception. Correct. First interception. Last year, I don't know if he had one at all either. Might be his first in his high school career. He also was playing with a cast half the season on his hand, which makes it a little hard to catch a football. Um, I believe he had one against CPA, but they caught it out of bounds. So, right there, getting maybe his first pick of his high school career. Don't fact check us on that, though. I definitely don't want that to come back. You had like five. Back. Uh, last possession. Saw a little slant pass. Great uh, rhythmic throw for Rubin right there. See if he can convert again in the pass game. Malawine drops back Gavin the pass. Of course, one deep to Gavin Kenning. Complete over the head of his receiver. Good coverage there by Good Pastor. Yeah, uh, that push, or pass was a little rush right there by uh, Rowan Malawine. Blitzer off the edge. Looks like got around his Good Pastor student section. Looks like they're. Heading home early. Far drive for good pasture. Safe uh, safe ride home for them. Rough night, but barring any miracles, they will be for sure as Mallorwan hands off to Parker, Parker Edwards. Edwards. In my math class, great guy. Get a few yards right there, around seven yards. I also lived with Parker. Play football last year, but uh, now basketball. Now basketball. Switch sports last year, you know. Able to commentate basketball last year. Great. Shout out Coach Gallagher. The basketball season closer than we all think, you know. Start the pass. Fires one towards the end zone. He's got a man. It's caught. Charlie Speed with his first touchdown of the season, and what a throw there by Malawine to Speed. Yeah, I just put my fist up in the air for that play right there because that was a great throw by Roman, and we've talked about it so much. Getting Charlie Speed and Roman Malawine on the same page. Right there, Charlie Speed just opened right there in the back of the end zone, and Roman Malawine threw a rainbow of a pass right to him in the end right there. So, great throw right there by Roman Malawine as we jog off the field. And congrats to them on their first touchdown catches of the season. Jesse Duncan, the PAT. Holder, new holder as well. Looks like Tommy Travers? No, that's not. Is that Bryce Kern? Bryce Kern, Brett Kern's son, scored a goal. From his own goalkeeping box. So, a lot of talent, young kid. Kicked that bar really far. Let's we'll see, push on board. Looks like Spiro Darcinos, maybe? No, excuse me. Max or Sammy Boylan, um, same person who was carrying out the flag, is going to try to do 48 push ups. Not an easy task. Jesse will also be kicking kickoffs now on. I believe Noah Harris's day is done. Can he do it? Yeah. And, and we'll see here. We'll see here, right? You know, we talk about Noah. Really, it's his first time kicking field goals in around a month after his injury uh, with that foot. And when you're a guy like Noah, it's and a kicker in general, it's keeping that confidence. It's a big mental thing with the kicking game. You miss a kick, and you, you think you suck, but you don't. And uh, 
Jesse Duncan now out to kick. Just made a PAT. See if he can kick a touchback right here. No hair, so today. Great outing. Six for seven, I believe, on PATs. Only when he missed with it off the crossbar. Good, good, good uh, job kicking. Touchback wet too. night, you know. It's really sometimes you can lose your footing. Ball flies a little weird with that rain, but he's been doing great so far. We'll see Jesse out to kick. Now, as you said earlier, not as much as a run up as Noah Harris does. Only around five yards to kick that ball is all he needs. Former soccer player boots it deep. Caught around the 10. Here comes good pasture. Good return there by that's number 14, Slim Lavelle. Talk to people around good pasture. Slim Lavelle, he, great player. He's a sophomore. And apparently his middle name is Shady. Sh Shady is a middle name. Yeah, uh, Slim Shady. Um, been great so far. That's Had crazy. Impact on the game. What a name, by the way. What that's, a, that's a shout out right there. What a name. It's all district kind of name right there. Look at that. Looks like we'll see the JV defense in for these Panthers. Chase Coleman, Parker Edwards out there as DB, and um, Will Crabtree and Bobby Rhodes out there as your safeties. Shaw Greer still out there for the defense line. Gabe Rangel out of outside linebacker. Angel hands off to his tailback. That's number five. Uh, Dawkins with the carry. And Mason Bird's tackling. You got to think these FRA defensive starters have to be hoping for a shutout right here. They've done their hardest all season to try to get one. Yeah, you know, those uh, varsity players went their donuts on Monday. and See if the JV can do again last year. As I said earlier, Taylor Hasselback um, had a pick six in that game. Don't know. He's not in the field right now, but we can see if he checked in and get another one. There's Dawkins again for a first down. I'll move the chance for the Cougars. Mason Bird again on the tackle right there. Uh, been showing a great outing so far. He got some varsity reps. Now he's win. Yeah, Parker Everton as well. He's looking a little tired right now. Coach Sanders giving him some words of wisdom there on the sideline. He's guarding all district name. Oh, got a little too close right there to his man. Got to think here, if you're Chase Angel, you have your your guy in press coverage here one-on-one. -on -one. No, no slouch with Parker Edwards there, but you have your number one receiver in press coverage. Got to be looking deep right here. Yeah, I'll take my money on Parker Edwards. Oh, and he's still guarding him. Dawkins Ch has the right ball there. there. Good tackle there tackle by, by number 35. Gabe Rangel. Gabe Rangel. Brother of Daniel Rangel graduated last year here at FRA. And Gabe, you know, I'm in the same waist class as him. He's been putting great work in the weight room. He's another guy who's earning these reps on varsity late and showing really good out in JV. Great tackle right there by him. Uh, deadlifting Sophomore, three, I believe, right? Sophomore, correct. Deadlifting uh, three plates in weights class. Repping it pretty yeah, easily shoot, right I there. Did, for, uh, shoot, I did good. two 45s and 25. I could not do. It's not terrible, though. No, no, not terrible. Don't hate on that. No, not, we can't hate on that. As Angel hands off to Dawkins again. Dawkins has swarmed. Front of one yard game met by a wall of Panthers. It'll be third yeah. down and short. Looks like all three D linemen. Well, third down and short, third right down there. and 13. Right there. Uh, Mason Bird jumping up and down in excitement right there. He's been all over the place right now. Shy Greer as well. Gabe Rango on the outside. And Adam Crocker, we just mentioned his older brother right in front of us. Joe Crocker. Left tack or right tackle for Louisville football. Good pass your student section remaining still here. Updates from scores around Nashville as Angel drops back to pass. Rolls out to his right. He's met by number, that's number 19, Smith Hagen in the backfield. Good play there by the junior. Gabe Brent go back there as well. Tracking that guy down. Almost got that fumble. Father Ryan and B.A. B.A. leads by five. Seven to two in that's the second quarter. Interesting score. Just checked uh, after halftime, the NBA game was 21-6, NBA, CPA. Another strong showing so far this week, having the lead CPA's every day. Up. Back to receive for the Panthers. That ball is out of bounds. Panthers will take over. Good punt there. Yeah, good kick right there. Good pass your kicker. It's probably had the most action on any kicker we'll see this week in college football, high school football, or even the NFL. Um, we'll see good pass defense try down the field. Led by Jack Nimitz. His parents sitting right in front of us with their jerseys on. 
Quick mention, Parker Edwards will be behind him. Uh, your receivers, Taylor Hasselback, Bobby Rhodes, and Will Crabtree, as well as our starting safety out there on the field. As the third quarter winds down, your score, Panthers 48, good pasture 0. 12 minutes left to go here in the ballgame. We'll be right back. We're back live for sort of this fourth quarter here on the hill. Twelve minutes left to go in this quarter, obviously. Like Miner said, CPA up 21 to 6. And you know, we look at that game. CPA definitely seems to be the team to beat in this conference. Yeah, you know. They've won state two years in a row the past two years. Looking to try to get their third this year if FRA doesn't have to know something to say about it. Lost a lot of talent though, CPA did, but still remaining strong. Nimitz hooks a pass to his receiver. Yeah, great pass right there by Jack Nimitz. Not a tall guy. I don't you think he's around like 5'7, five, 5'8. Five, same around the same high as our quarterback last year, Logan Kennard. But just a uh, nice pass right there. One for one so far on completion rate. Also, you look at teams in our conference, BGA has been looking strong so far. Definitely resurgence after last season. After he will travel on the road to face. To face BGL of the season. Nimitz tries to evade. Sack right there by Good Pasture. Yep, that's number, I believe that's number four, Nate Starks. Yeah, I think Good Pasture, what they like to do, or sorry, excuse me, FRA, what they like to do is get Jack Nimitz rolled out of the pocket to try to be able to see how those offensive linemen, really mobile quarterback, and is good on the run. Parker Edwards out as well in the backfield, that lead block right there. Just getting him out of the pocket, getting him a rhythmic pass, and see if they can gain yards on a comeback route or a deep route. 10.55 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Nimitz high snap rolls right out there. to a drive with the high snap. Fires a pass to Will Crabtree. Crabtree pulls it in. Tackle out of bounds on the 50-yard line. First down FRA. Good catch there by Crabtree. Yeah, really high snap right there. But um, Jack Nimitz was able to obtain it and throw it down the field to Will Crabtree for the 21-yard game. Will Crabtree, cousin of former quarterback, former O-lineman Bo and Cole Kugler getting that reception right there. Jack Nimitz, great showing so far tonight. Thoughts on uh, this FR Young receiving core right now? Will Crabtree, Bobby Rhodes. Yeah, Bobby Rhodes, a junior. Been here a couple years getting some reps, but the uh, Will Crabtree in number 21. I believe that's Taylor. Parker Edwards with the run right there. Two younger guys getting some reps and showing great minutes so far, both with catches. Zafari offense looking to still, so you know, round, round this clock for sure, but definitely keep this second team going strong, see what they got out of these young players. Yeah, for sure. It's Jack Nimitz. Um, I think he's thrown half the amount of passes as Roman has thrown in 10 snaps of offense. So it looks like Coach Guys is trying to get his young quarterback throwing the ball so far. Parker Nimitz Edwards out in motion. Hit fires him. a pass to Edwards. Edwards right through his hands. Incomplete. Third down coming up. Yeah, Parker Edwards just slipped through his hands right there. He's mad himself, but it's a hard catch to make. Wet football, too. Slippery ball, wet gloves. Just a hard catch to make. We're looking here. Third down. We'll see if they get a pass play right now. Jack Nimitz so far been successful on the pass game. Mason Bird. Um, Rob Queen, senior. Another senior. Chip Sigmund. Uh, his blockers, as well as Adam Crocker, will see if they can give him good protection, throw a pass, and it will be a pass play. Nimitz rolls out to his left, fires a pass downfield. It's hauled in by Bobby Rhodes for a first down, Panthers. Yeah, really talented pass right there. Um, kind of had to throw it across his body, running out to his left. 
Bobby Rose running straight across the field and able to throw a pass on the money. Jack Nimitz looks strong so far in this fourth quarter. Maybe see a run play right here by Parker Edwards. Been the story of the night so far. Ball's on Most the ground. Snap. Nimitz picks it up. He's swarmed in the backfield. Bad staff there, I believe Mason Bird. Yeah, Mason center. Bird in there at center. Backup center also plays offensive guard and offensive tackle. He's kind of their backup, you could say, on this offensive line. Just a bad snap right there. Wet football. Good for the young guy, though. Getting in some reps. Try to get that under control with the young quarterback. Good job by him. Not trying to do anything with it. Picks it up. Falls on it. A free retains possession. Yeah, see if maybe we could see a, um, just a rhythmic pass, you know, tunnel pass, screen point, anything to get. Second more. down and 21. Nimitz drops back the pass. Screen fires pass. it to his receiver. Good gain there. On the original line of scrimmage. Second down and nine coming up. Yeah, just as I said earlier, screen pass right there. Try to get your quarterback back in rhythm after that little mess up of a play. Ross Hinthorne with the catch. Has that size, man. Yeah, Ross Hinthorne. Um, didn't play football last year because he wasn't at FRA. Came over here for baseball. He's dealt with an injured pinky, but a really talented guy. Around 6'1", 170, 180. Really big guy. I think Coach Geis is looking forward Nimitz to him. Nimitz so corrals the ball with one hand. Fires downfield. Caught by Crabtree. Will Crabtree outs the 25-yard lane for a first down, FRA. Yeah, what a drive Jack Nimitz is leading these Panthers on so far. I mean, I can't reiterate enough. He's just throwing on the run and just throwing it straight to these receivers. Nate, how are you liking what you're seeing out of this young quarterback? I like the way they're using him, rolling out of the pocket, getting him to his right hand, rolling out to his right. He's also rolled out to the left a couple yeah, times. Yeah, threw it across his body, right in the money for a first down. Feels like Coach Geis has confidence in his quarterback. Jack Nimitz. Yeah, he could be huge too. Roman has had injuries these past two seasons that he's played football. Um, so, you know, injuries also always a playbook in there. So it's good to have a good quarter, backup quarterback. Nimitz hands off to Edwards. Parker Edwards slices through for a three yard game. And you talk about backup quarterbacks. Also, have Omari Sanders. We kind of love with Omari. He's not the biggest fan of playing quarterback. He knows he's pretty good at it, has the size, has the, the strength, but. And the arm. He, he, yeah, he prefer, He really just prefers safety. And yeah, he played, uh, he played correct. He can play that position. But I don't think Coach Sanders wants his quarterback to also be the starting safety. So I think Jack Nimmons right now might be that quarterback, too, for these FRA Panthers. So far, been a great showing tonight so far. Six minutes left to go here in Will the ball Crabtree, game. one-on-one coverage. Looks like every single receiver is having one-on-one coverage. No deep safety. Jack Nimitz should recognize that. Nimitz keeps the ball. Nimitz stiff arm inside the five, and he's tackled down at the two. Looks like a horse car right there. Jack Nimitz trying to get that touchdown. See if they can push Parker Edwards or Jack Nimitz into this end zone to cap off this drive by these FRA Panthers. Seems like we kind of know who won that. Who Coach Guy's leaning towards after that quarterback battle. All throughout camp, both guys are talented. Let me say that right now. Tom want to be in this position for sure. But the way Jack Nimitz is playing right now, it's really incredible to see. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, not a tall guy, but really mobile. And he can throw the ball. He's been on the run. It seems like he's better throwing the ball on the run than he is flat-footed. So that's great to see right now out of the young guy. Adam Crocker going into motion. Makes touchdown, Panthers! And Jack Nimitz gets his first passing touchdown in his FRA career. Touchdown, Panthers. Same exact play as last week. Um, that play is going to be on field. Mother coach is going to wreck your zero with 4.22 left to go here in the ballgame. We'll be right back after this break. Now, what are you liking? What are you not liking? I'm really liking the way that this Panther defense is. Got it. FRA believes they got it. Waiting for a signal. That's the whole point right there. That sky kick. Try to get the ball. Try to mess up a catch. Good pass. Been struggling with that all night long. Gabe rank out. And FRA will take over. Rhodes. Ball's recovered by Bobby Rhodes. And FRA will have the ball at 35 yard line. First down and 10. Yeah, great recovery right there by Bobby Rose. Good passers. See if they get to 60 points. Last year the score, as we all know, 69-7. Um, see if we get the exact same mark. We'll see how he does this possession. 
talk with Tommy today. Definitely felt like he could, he could get an opportunity opportunity tonight. We'll see yeah, how he does sure. here. Looks like he's ready to go. Bring it warmed up on the sidelines. Puck Edwards in the backfield with him as well as Adam Crocker. Travers hands it off to Edwards. Parker Edwards. Ripped by his face masher. They're waiting for the call. Yep. That'll move FRA 15 yards up. Good call, Nate. Yeah, we'll see. New receivers as well. Josh. And that slot receiver Taylor Williams. And that receiver Game Rangel checking in at fullback. As we said earlier, been playing outside linebacker so far. Will Crabtree will remain out there as that Z receiver. Ball be spotted at the 14 yard line for a first on FRA. It feels like, barring any big plays from good pass, it feels like that's FRA defense to secure those donuts. Yeah, the biggest play so far tonight by good pasture was a 15 yard flag. Other than that, they've had, you know, two. Put a zero up on the scoreboard. They can maintain this defense. Clock might run all the way down to a minute if I had to guess. Two minutes so far on this running clock by Tommy Travers at quarterback. Travers, Edwards behind him. Fakes it to, no, handoff to Edwards. Parker swarmed. Parker Edwards not going down right there, staying up. We'll see, Coach Geis. Um, we'll get the young quarterback a pass, Jack Nimitz. Last time. Looks like his strength is throwing the ball. We'll see if Tommy's strength is either a mobile quarterback or a throwing quarterback. Definitely pre Im impressive performance there. By, uh, and Cam cap off their night with two, or excuse me, three and one touchdowns, I believe. Low snap. Tommy Travers rolls out. He's swarmed immediately. Tough hit there on the quarterback. And then, yeah. Might be a cramp unknown so far. Yep. Yeah, I think it's a cramp. Probably just stretch him out. Yeah. Uh, where they spot at? 17? yeah so we'll have a new center. Number 60 game for FRA. See how he does for his first snap at center. Stands cleared out a little bit. At the end of this game, FRA with a impressive victory so far. As we can see ourselves in the box to my right, Nate Lindsleth. Nate, what are you looking forward to next week? Homecoming week, huge week. A lot of people here. And that's what Coach Hanson told me uh, earlier this season. You can't look past any sure. opponent. And Northwest, you took care of business last year, but on homecoming, you have a lot of fans here. A lot's going to be going on during the week. And when a lot's going on during the week, you got to still stay focused on your opponent. It should be a, it should be a victory, but Northwest is going to bring their A game. You you know that best. Northwest, their team. Yeah, you know next week and after Northwest East National, that's their homecoming game. We all know how that game went last year, high scoring game. And then, um, so you know you just got to look at one week at a time. Can't look ahead of this game. Just got to remain looking one week ahead, as you said earlier. Let me say this: East Nashville has stars all over the field. That'll be a fun game to watch. Traver drops at the pass, fires one, and it's intercepted, picked off. Oh, might be tracked down there by Josh. Josh tries to hawk him down, and he's almost got him. Edwards tries to make a play. Touch They're done some more. Just a hard pass right there by Tommy Travers. Josh almost with the track down kick, just not able to get him. That's got to be on me, right? I legit brought the donuts about 25 hey, seconds right, ago. It's, right. it's got it, it. The announcer jinx has got to be real. It's right? real. It's a real thing. We it it's happened. Got and we let it slip away tonight, and we we are sorry, man. I, 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 I'm dead serious, man. I, 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 I think the announcer jinx has got to be real. It's a real thing. There, there's no way. It's got to be. It's got to be real. A minute left in the game. Less than a minute. The whole. Le excuse me. Less than a minute. Everybody's looking forward to the donuts, and then next thing you know, a hundred yard touchdown right there by a good Patrick Christian. Yep, you that know, was number. Looks like they have three people. Number fourteen, Slim section, Lavelle. Those three people were very excited. Two point conversion is good. That's. Nate Starks into the two-point conversion and good passage on the board, 55 to eight, with 34 seconds to go here in the second half. Yeah, I don't think that's going to get it done. Um, I think it's you could safe to say that good passage will move to 0 and 4, and Efre will move to 4 and 0. Um, I think the I think number 14 realized that he was being tracked down. He turned around and saw Josh on his heels. Josh went for the clip right there on his feet, just wasn't able to get it fully, and good passage with the pick six. What a what a night on the hill. Um, got a feel for Tommy Travers. Feel like he feel like he would probably let his team down tonight, but he's a young quarterback, makes mistakes. It's it's bound to happen, and you see it all over college football, right? With these young quarterbacks, 
Um, yeah. Even the NFL, you look at Will Levis of course. last week in Chicago on the road and had a yeah not a great performance. Caleb Williams, Caleb Williams didn't have a great performance either, you know. And it was like Dylan Royal, that's another guy, great college quarterback, only had 96 yards, I believe, against Colorado passing. Still got the uh, win, but just not a great performance by him. And if you're Tommy Travis, you got to keep your head up right there. Tough player right there. Had last year, Roman, I remember he went to the game, and I think he threw a pick six against Webb as well. And now look at Roman, the starting quarterback. Um, so you just got to keep your head up right there. Just a hard play. Zuberga set to kick off here for the number 88. Second time got a lefty. Left footed kicker. Last time almost kicked a touchback. Your returners. Looks like Josh and Xavier. Pooch kick. Onside kick there. A little bounce out of bounds. BA just scored a touchdown. They're up 14 to 2. That almost over Father Ryan. For that game. Xavier was irate that he, did, that he did not get a chance to return that kick. Yeah, I've never seen somebody run so fast off the field before. Uh, I threw. We were playing two hand touch football today, and I, and I threw a dime to Xavier. So. There you hey, go. That's middle school quarterback is Nate, and yep. looks like they would just call the game right there. That'll do it from the hill here at Franklin Road Academy. Your final score, Panthers 55, Good Pasture 8. FR will be in action next week against Northwest at Homes, at home. And she is right here in the box, um, right here. But, yeah, Run next week. Evan. Shout out to Evan. Shout out to Evan. Shout out to all of our producers. Shout out to Whit Max to watch in the home. He'll be here next week. But, again, FR will take on Northwest next week. That's, that's the homecoming game. FRA moves to 4-0 on the season after a 55-8 win. We'll see you guys next week. Have a great night.